Hello and welcome to What Culture Gaming. I'm Josh, joined today by Rich, Hello. which can mean only one thing. Something Call of Duty is happening. Yes. And it's quite big and it quite is. scary. <laughs> According to Kotaku and Polygon, no traditional campaign will be included in Black Ops 4. There is still a potential for co-op modes, but the campaigns as we know them, and Treyarch usually do great campaigns, will yeah. not be included if these reports are to be believed, which they're getting corroborated they are everywhere, which so it sounds pretty legit. Forget what you know. Forget the what you know. The tagline for Black Ops 4 could be based on the fact that the series is based on mind control, or it could be generally saying, this is what you know about Call of Duty, forget it, because it's all about to change. It's sounding more like that. Yes. Because... Exactly. You know, they're not just dropping the campaign, they're also adding another feature, which Supposedly. is potentially a Battle Royale mode, which we have talked about before, yep. but now that rumour has been given more credence by both uh, Polygon, um, Kotaku, and of course Charlie Intel, yep. who say that Raven Software is developing this part of the game. Yeah, which is interesting, because they're still supposedly working on World War Two. Because they, oh, they are right. another, they are another company working on World War Two. Like when you when you watch when you boot the game and you see the Activision logo, the sledgehammer, then so, then shows Raven on all of the modes. Interesting. So, ooh, well, uh, it, it sort of makes sense because um, these games are in development for three years. They have a three-year dev yes. cycle. And according to Polygon, look down my notes here. Um, at one point in de development, it became evident that um, Treyarch were not going to be able to finish the campaign. Yes. So that was dropped to focus on multiplayer and zombies, mm -hmm. as we all know. And um, and then Fortnite happened, and everything exploded, and yep. PUBG, of course, and uh, Battle Royale modes were the next big thing. So it sort of makes sense that while Treyarch were tinkering away at perfecting the multiplayer and the zombies, that they would get another studio in to yes. you know capitalize on the Battle Royale I boom. mean, that, that is definitely a potential. It could turn around as they do something completely different. We don't know yet. They could have changed the scale of multiplayer multiplayer and zombies no end. That is the biggest thing that most of the community seem to be taking from this. Uh, looking at the conversations on Reddit, people are saying, oh, this this is great, this is bad. It's very much split people down the middle as to whether this is good or bad. You have to let us know what you think down below. Um, but, you know, if it, mean, if it means the zombies are going to get bigger, especially for me, then that's great. Right. I'm happy okay. with that. I mean, the multiplayer getting bigger as well, that's also really good. I mean, things like the war mode in World War II has been really successful. Um, they might be doing something similar to that, like a different sort of mode in multiplayer. I hope. Something original, for example, I don't know. It could be Battle Royale, which is fine. Battle Royale yeah. is fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how uh, that's going to work in a COD context, because the, the, yeah. the game style of COD, the gunplay, seems to be very at odds with what Battle Royale is all about. I mean, the quick time to kill, the uh, the smaller maps, the twitchier gunplay, I don't yeah. know. You're the Battle Royale rich. The yeah, Battle Royale the, guy. the thing is, like, um, How does that work? Uh, PUBG did their recent mode where you did, it was like a deathmatch mode, and playing that makes you realise that PUBG is not a twitch shooter. Right. Like, mechanically, it, I mean, this may have just been me, but I did not really like it, it as, as like a Twitch shooter. The gunplay in PUBG is brilliant, but in that context, it doesn't really work. So putting what would work as a Twitch play, a, a Twitch she arena shooter mechanics from Call of Duty into a Battle Royale mode, yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Everyone would have to have like increased health and stuff like that to make it a bit fairer. But I'm intrigued to see how that would go about, really. It's, it might be their own little spin, like a smaller Battle Royale mode, like yeah. not 100 people. I'm sure, like, I'm sure it'll be, be like, like a spin on it. free for all last man standing on a huge map. That might be it. That could be cool. If it's yeah. But by the sounds of it, it's not just a multiplayer mode. It's like the third pillar yes. of whatever this game is, is going to be. It is a co-op mode, supposedly. So it could still be a campaign. Right. But they'll turn around and go, this campaign is only playable in co-op. They're going to do it a way out. Mm. Maybe. I, I, just, I don't think they would. But if they bring back co-op campaigns, that would be great. Right. I, yeah, th I think you could play Black Ops 3 in co-op. Um, yeah. But we don't talk about that campaign. Um... World at War, you could play in co-op. Which was great. Which was awesome. Yes. Um, so if Treyarch are going to do another co-op campaign or co-op like single player feeling sort of thing, then by all means. But I know it's interesting that they're just, they, they are saying that there is not going to be a traditional yeah. single player campaign. Doesn't mean there's going to be no single player campaign. You can't take that from this. That's frustrating to me though, because um, I'm maybe the minority in this, but I buy Call of Duty every single year for the campaigns. Yep. They are bombastic, they are silly, but I love buying them, completing them in a weekend, having a good time. Yep. And Treyarch's campaigns, more or less, have been the best ones. In, above even Infinity War, I think. The original Black Ops is great, Black Ops 2 is really good. And for all its faults, I really enjoyed Black Ops 3. Yeah. And you can't fault Treyarch for always pushing what COD campaigns can be. Even so obviously with Black Ops 2 had the, the branching narratives that you yep. get different endings and stuff like that. So yep. that hasn't been that hasn't been done again at all, I think, in any uh, Not branching narratives. I think, I think. In, it was only Black Ops 2. 
And then Black Ops 3 brought back the co-op, and then it had a lot of a deeper, more confusing story, which I personally didn't like. No. But but even in Black Ops 3, I remember a quote from the devs where they were saying, um, they recognized that not many people played the campaign, so they were trying to make it more accessible, which is how they came up with that non-linear, like, episodic yeah, aspect yeah, where you and could the, play and it in any You could order. level up and, you know, yeah. you go from replay missions, which is something I didn't do. I played it like a box standard campaign. I just yeah. played through it and went, yeah, that's done. Haven't touched it since. Well, I don't know about you, Rich, because I'm obviously on the side of the campaign and... Uh, I mean, it's... my personal as well, like, I, I enjoy playing all the cold campaigns. It gives yeah. you a good feeling for what the multiplayer is going to be like. Not so much the zombies, but you get a, you get a feeling for having game played without being flung in the deep end. Definitely. Uh, with, you know, try-hardy, twitchy, screamy kids <laughs> on multiplayer. 100%. But, I mean, you can't argue with the numbers as well, because, I mean, a very small percentage of people play the campaign and an even smaller finish the campaign. So you yeah. can see the sort of business incentive of why they would want to get rid of that. But at the same time, for all of their faults, the, all, every COD game has been packed with content. Oh, yes. You've had zombies, you've had multiplayer, you've had a sprawling five-hour campaign that's, you know, high production values and everything. Yeah. So to sort of minimize that aspect into Again, replace it, has it split people down the middle. Some people are like, yeah, Black Ops 3 was a bit rubbish. I don't buy cards for campaigns. I buy for multiplayer. This is great. Then you can yeah. say, I do play the campaign. I'd like to play the campaign because obviously, as we said, tryout campaigns are already, you know, normally really, really good. So it's a, it's a bit weird. I mean, we'll find out more uh, on May 17th when there's well. the big reveal, which I'm very excited for, uh, as well as potentially E3. And normally they show some new footage off at E3. Definitely. Uh, on Sony stage, no doubt. Yep, Sony stage it will definitely be there still in Sony's pocket as of right now. But then this has also re uh, also resurfaced the uh, Modern Warfare 2 remastered rumors. Yes. Because obviously if Black Ops 4 is not going to have a campaign, if you want to word it like that, Modern Warfare 2 remastered is only campaign. So this is so ever since because um, there was a big thing about Activision doing a live stream and they were like, oh, they're going to announce Modern Warfare 2 remastered, and they didn't. They announced Spyro remastered. So those sort of rumors have died down a bit. And now this has come about, all the Modern Warfare 2 remastered rumors have come back again. So if there is a Modern Warfare 2 remastered, there is still no confirmation. There's no source no. saying that it's work and being worked on. I mean, we've seen Amazon listings before. Yeah. That does happen. There have been a few people saying, oh, this is yeah, happening. Yeah, Eurogamer if, sort of confirmed. If we hear about it, we'll hear about it on May 12th, on May 17th, sorry, not May 12th, May 17th, or E3. Right, Rich, this is the craziest thing to me, right? People are saying, no one plays COD campaigns. No one plays them, just get rid of them. Let's focus on the multiplayer. Then Activision are saying, you know what? I'm going to release Modern Warfare 2 campaign only. And that like, is, ah, what? Uh, That's crazy to me. So it seems like Black Ops 4 having no campaign has split us both down the middle. I know I'm probably not going to buy it at least on launch with no campaign. What are you interested in? I'm going to buy it irrelevant. But Gosh, zombies, but zombies mainly, zombies. but yeah, I, you know, if they turn and said, yeah, there isn't actually going to be a normal single player, then I will be quite sad, but I'll still get it. Um, so this might be like the most divisive thing COD has done in years. So I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let us know. Are you going to get it? Are you going to give it a miss? Are you just going to play zombies or battle royale? Either way, I've been Josh. I've been Rich. You've been watching What Culture, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.